Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist and today are doing a Flower Cardian deck profile. So I'm really excited to do some for you guys because this deck is an extremely interesting deck that can actually FTK your opponent. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month on your Patreon. So without further ado, Let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're playing three copies of Flower Cardian Pine. Pine is definitely a three of in the build. Because this card is the ability, if this card is normal summon, you get to draw a card and show it. Then send it to the graveyard unless it's a Flower Cardian monster. You can only use effect this card once per turn, but if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by a bonus card effect and sent to the graveyard, you get to draw a card. This card is one of the best normal summons in the entire deck and definitely a three of. We can play three copies of Flower Cardi and Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom is really good as a three of them because if you control a level two or lower Flower Cardia monster, you can special summon this card in the hand. Also, you cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except Flower Cardia monsters, which is totally fine because that's all we're summoning in the deck anyways. This card also has the ability once per turn that you can actually tribute a Flower Cardia monster to draw a card and if you show it, and if it's a Flower Cardia monster, you can take a Flower Cardia monster from your deck except another copy this card and either add it to your hand or special summon it otherwise send the card you drew to the graveyard which is a really powerful effect to get the exact card that you need we then play three copies of Cherry Blossom with Curtain. Cherry Blossom with Curtain is definitely a three of in the deck. And this card must be special summoned. It cannot be normal summoner set. It must be special summoned by a, its own effect. You can reveal this card in your hand, draw a card, if you show it, then special summon this card if you drew a card that was a flower card or a monster. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard and send this card to the graveyard. And during either player's damage step, when a Flower Cardia monster battles an opponent's monster, you can discard this card and your battling monster gains a thousand attack until the end of this turn, which is a pretty interesting effect. We then play three copies of Peony with Butterfly. Peony with Butterfly is the main tuner of the deck that's going to help you go in for all of your synchro plays in the build. This card cannot be normal or summoner set. It must be special summoned from your hand by tributing a Flower Cardian monster, except with a copy of this card. And if this card is special summoned, you get to draw a card. And if you do, show it. Then, if it's a Flower Cardian monster, look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and then place them all on the top of the deck top or the bottom of the deck in any order. Otherwise, send to the graveyard, which is a really interesting ability for this card, but the main effect we want to use on this card is when this card is used for a singer material, you can treat it in all their singer monsters that have a level as level two monsters, meaning it's really easy to go in for your synchro plays for your flower cardian monsters. We then play three copies of Zebra Grass. Zebra Grass is like a magical mallet for the deck, with this card having a really cool ability that while you control a level seven or lower flower guardian monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is a really cool ability. And if this card is normal or special summon, you're gonna feel any number of flower guardian monsters in your hand and shuffle them into the deck, then draw the same number of cards, which is an awesome ability just to help us dig into the deck for the exact cards that we need. Also putting cards that we don't need back into the deck. We then play two copies of Maple with Deer. Maple with Deer is definitely a two of in the build. And this card has the ability you have to tribute a flower card and a monster to be able to special summon this card in your hand. And if this card is special summon, you get to draw a card. And if you do show it, then if it was a flower card and a monster, you can destroy a spell or trap card your opponent controls. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard. We then play two copies of Clover with Boar. Clover with Boar is really good as a two of the deck. It's very similar to your copy of Maple with Deer. With this card having to tribute a flower card and a monster, to special summon this card in my hand and if this card is special summon you get to draw a card and we do show it then if it's a flower card or a monster destroy a monster your opponent controls otherwise send it to the graveyard we then play three copies of willow willow is one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck and is actually how you loop through your plays to be able to basically ftk your opponent this card has the ability while you control a level 10 or lower flower card amount you can special summon this card from your hand this card also has the ability once per turn you can target a flower card monster in your graveyard shuffle it into the deck and then draw a card which tells you to put your copy of moon flowering view back into the extra deck to be able to draw 
card and keep digging into the deck. And this card is a soft once per turn, meaning every single copy of this card can activate to be able to help you recycle your resources, which is absolutely amazing. And it's just an absolutely crazy powerful card that can help you loop through your copies of your copy of your moon flowering view. So you can basically FTK your opponent. We play a single copy of Willow with Calligraphy. Willow with Calligraphy is really good as a tuner in the deck to basically help you go in for more synchro plays. And then finally we play a single copy of the level 12 Flower Cardian card. This card is really good as a one-up in the build and just helps out a lot in the deck overall because while you control a level 11 or lower Flower Cardian monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot normally special summon monsters for the rest of turn except Flower Cardian monsters. And also when this card is targeted for attack, you can negate the attack and end the battle phase. Then draw a card which is a pretty cool effect so that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Rhoda. All of our flower cardian monsters are warriors, so this card is really good in the deck as a one of. We might assume a copy of Super Koi Koi. Super Koi Koi is really good as a one of in the deck. As well as to excavate the top three cards of your deck and then special summon as many flower cardian monsters among them as possible, ignoring their summoning conditions. But their levels become two and they have their effects negated. You banish the remaining cards face down and if we do lose a thousand life points for each you can also banish this card from the graveyard and then tribute a monster to be able to special summon a flower cardian monster from your hand ignoring its summoning conditions which is a pretty cool ability for this card to have but i feel like with how fast this deck goes through its cards you only need a single copy and then play a single copy of Flower Stacking. Flower Stacking is really interesting as one of because it lets you choose three Flower Cardian monsters with different names from your deck and then place them on the top of your deck in any order, helping you be able to excavate cards off the top of your deck, guaranteeing you're going to hit a Flower Cardian. This card also has the ability that you can banish this card, except the turn it was sent to the graveyard, and then target a Flower Cardian monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand, which is a great effect to help us grab our copy of Willow. We then play just two copies of Flower Gather. I did consider playing this card as a three of in the build, but again, how fast this deck goes through its cards, I feel like two is really all you need. This card lets you special summon four flower cardian monsters with a hundred attack and different names from your deck and attack system, but they have their effects negated. Also, they cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. You only activate one of this card per turn, and you cannot normally special summon other monsters during the turn you activate this card except flower cardians, which is totally fine. We then play three copies of Recard Nation. This card is really cool as a three of in the deck. As this card lets you target a flower cardian monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand, then you can special summon a flower cardian monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions, basically being like a monster reborn for the deck. Also, if this card is sent to the graveyard by a flower cardian monster effect, you can excavate the top five cards to your deck, and if you do, add one excavated spell or trap. From, your, from those cards to your hand, which is a really cool ability. And I love that about this card. Also, place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order, helping you fix your deck to be able to excavate the exact flower cardian monsters that you need. We then play two copies of Desynchro. Desynchro is very important for the build to help you FTK your opponent because it basically lets you unsynchro summon a monster and put all of its materials back on your side of the field, which is really cool. We then play three copies of Allure of Darkness. Allure of Darkness is really important as a three up in the deck. They basically help you dig into the deck while also banishing a dark monster from your hand after you draw. We then play three copies of Synchronized Realm. Synchronized Realm is really good as a three of, or Synced Realm is really good as a three of in that. As each time you each time you synchro summon a synchro monster, you inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent. And with this deck, with cards like Desynchro and Willow being able to recycle your copy of your Moon Flowering View, it's very easy to be able to FTK your opponent in the deck, especially when you get two of these out in your side of the field. You can easily FTK your opponent with this card. But keep in mind, this card is called Synced Realm. They actually change this card's name, which is very important to be able to know about this card because it's no longer called Synchronized Realm. This is an old version, and this is actually the OTS version, the new version that they actually printed so you can't search it with synchro cards or synchron cards they changed it to synchro sync realm instead of synchronized realm so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck
So for the extra deck guys, we're going to start with three copies of Moonflowering View. Moonflowering View is definitely a 3F in the build. And this card is actually how you FTK your opponent with your Sync Realm. Because you're going to be basically synchro summoning this card over and over again. This card is a really cool ability. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can draw a card. And if you do, show it. Then if it's a flower card in your balance, you get to special summon it, ignoring its summoning additions. And it can attack directly this turn. And if you activate this effect you skip your next draw phase which is not that big of a deal because you're basically just going to synchro summon in this card over and over again recycling with your copy of willow to be able to ftk your opponent with sync realm which is absolutely crazy we then play three copies of light shower light shower is really cool in the deck as a three up this is card has the ability that your opponent cannot target flower cardium monsters you control with card effects also those monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects and during your opponent's draw phase if they draw for their normal draw inflict 1500 points of damage to your opponent and once per turn during your opponent's end phase activate one of these effects to either skip the draw phase of your next turn or this card has its other effect negated into your opponent's next standby phase we can play three copies of Light Flare. Light Flare is really cool in the deck because it can actually replace itself with your copy of Light Shower, which is really nice. But this card is also a walking negate because once per turn, during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap card, you can negate the activation to destroy that card, which is a really cool ability to be able to use. And if a flower card in a monster that you control battles an opponent's monster, that opponent's monster has its effects negated during the battle phase only, which is a really cool ability. We then play two Two copies of Bordy Fly. Bordy Fly is really good as a two of in the build just to be able to synchro summon just in case you need to and this card is really good in the deck as a two of. And then a single copy of Chaos Angel just as another option you're usually just summoning out your copy of Moonflowering View but these are other options that you can summon into every so often but your copy of Chaos Angel is really good overall in the deck. And then a single copy of Crystal Wing because it's a walking gate. One copy of TG Hyper Library and just help us draw in the deck which is really nice to be able to do. And then finally a single copy of Herald of the Arclight as this card is basically a walking gate. So that's it for the deck guys. I hope you enjoyed. This deck is super fun. If you guys have never played a flower cardian deck before you should definitely give this deck a try because it's insane that this deck can actually ftk your opponent with sync realm which is such a powerful card to be able to play in this deck basically just do 500 points of burn damage every time you synchro summon so that's gonna be this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come bar notification squad we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys